Now, you might ask, how is it that property is a natural right? Okay, Hobbes doesn't see it that way, but Locke does. All right, and I'll give you an example, very simple. Lou, put that phone away. Okay. And let me ask you, I know I'm probably barking up the wrong tree. How many of you watch Westerns or have ever watched any Westerns? What's that? A Western, like a movie, oh, yeah. like Clint Eastwood or John Wayne, or, yeah. you know, those kinds of, you know? All right. Any of you seen Shane? It's probably one of the greatest Western ever, 1953. Pardon? And not better than Shane. And I can quote every line in Tombstone backwards and forth. I'm your Huckleberry. I, I, I know that movie. Okay. But it's not better than Shane. It's like, that's like that. I love Tombstone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a good look at it, Mike, because that's how you're going to end up. The Cowboys are finished. You understand me? <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> All right. But essentially, Westerns, they're all the same storyline, like the old Westerns. It's always the same story because it's based in the Wild West, right? And so, as you're going to see in this class, there's this whole area out there in the West that hasn't been settled yet. And so, Americans move out there, and there's some land. And someone gets out there, you know, often like in Shane, they call them some sod buster. I mean, they're out there digging the ground, trying to grow some crops. And that's what someone does. They get out there, they find some land, they might squat on it, as you heard in the video grow some crops, get some cattle, and then what happens? Bad guy shows up. And the bad guy says, hey, what you doing on my land? Excuse me? What you doing on my land? Get off my land. Well, this is my land. Man. Those, those are my crops. That's my cattle. No, it ain't. That's my land. That makes them my crops. That makes them my cattle. Now you get on scat. Well, uh, but no. Right? And then the bad guy, you know, he comes in and tries to steal the cattle or he brands them or he burns down some crops and he's trying to scare all the sock busters away. Okay. And then what happens? Dusty stranger rolls into town and says, so I hear you can use some help. Oh, maybe. Right. Then there's a shootout at the end. Bad guy goes away. He's dead. And then the, you know, the helpful guy who rolled into town, you know, he trots off into the hills. That's how they basically all go. You know, people like Westerns, people like myself, because the good guys win, typically, you know, something at the end, right? Easy sense of justice there. All right. Now, the original point here is that those sod busters, so to speak, want to say, this is my land, right? How? What, what prompts them to make this claim? Those are my crops. That's my cattle. That's my cabin. What did they do? Before that, what did you have to do to have a cabin? Yes, you had to work. All right, and so the simple answer is work plus land makes property. All right, I put my effort into this ground I grew those crops. I took care of the cattle that's right there, and I built that cabin. That makes this land right here that's under it, that makes it mine. Okay? Now, people know this intuitively. It's a natural right, says Locke. Okay, you know this. And I'll give you an example before I close out here. Last thing. Back in, I want to say, I don't know, 19... What was it 1995 or so? All right, I was living out in Colorado and I was on my way to Virginia driving. I should drive straight shot 24 and a half hours. What? And one time I couldn't get back because there was a big snowstorm, right? Don't pack up yet. All right, and I remember reading the snowstorm was really bad in Chicago. You know, Chicago always gets a lot of snow as we hear, they're not unfamiliar with snow, right? So there's a big snowstorm in Chicago, and I'm reading the story about how people in Chicago pretty much lost their minds, all right? Because you know how sometimes people have to park on the street, on street parking. And you know how that goes. You go out early in the morning, you have to go to work, and you get the snow shovel out, and you dig out your car and whatever. And then people would go to work, and they would come back and find what? Somebody else had the audacity to park in their spot that they had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to dig out. And so, of course, what would happen? 
somebody would leave a note and say, hey, this is my spot. Do not park here, right? Go off to work, come back. Somebody's in the spot again. Oh, 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 no, 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 you didn't. Okay, leave another note. This time maybe it was like a little skull and crossbones on it, right? <laughs> this is my spot. Do not park here, okay? People, somebody go off to work, come back. Still in the spot. Leave another note, okay? This time even angrier, right? On top of a gas can, saying, this is my spot. Do not park here. Otherwise, I will blow up your car, okay? And I'm not making this up. I remember reading this in the paper. You can probably still look it up, okay? Honest to God, somebody left a note, came back, found a car in their spot, left a note on some poop that they left on the car. Human poop. Somebody pooped on someone's car, put a note on it, and said, this is my spot. Do not park here. Now, were any of those people saying, oh, let me consult the good John Locke here. And, uh, oh, yes, labor plus uh, land creates property, or in this case, labor plus snow creates property. No, of course not. They just intuitively knew. My labor plus this land area right here creates property. It's a natural right. Okay? All right. We'll come back to these natural rights, natural laws, I guess Tuesday.